If we're using our favorite Windows tools and we're seeing that we're getting errors like the request is not supported, then chances are NTLM authentication is disabled and we're going to have to use Kerberos authentication to bypass this. Kerberos is the ticketing authentication system that Active Directory uses, but we can use it just as easily on our Linux system. We just need to do a little setup first. The first thing we're going to need to do is edit the etckrb5.conf file. And in that file underneath where it says realms, we're going to want to add the domain that we're attacking and set the KDC variable to the name of the domain controller in that environment. So let's go ahead and open up krb5.conf. And here, if we scroll down to the bottom of my realms list, we see the domain for the volur box on hack the box. And we have the KDC variable set to dc.volur.htb. So once you have the domain and the domain controller in the krb5.conf file, we can move on to the next step of getting a Kerberos ticket for a user that we have valid credentials for. We can do this with either the username and password or the username and their password hash. And to do this, we're going to use a tool called impacket.gettgt and then specify the domain name of the domain that the user is in, a forward slash and then the user, and we hit enter. And then we'll be prompted to put in the password for this user. And we should see output that it's saving a ticket to the user.ccache. Once we have this ccache file, which is going to be our ticket, we're going to want to set the krb5 ccname environment variable to the full path of where that ccache file is located. We can do this by doing an export krb5 ccname equals and then the full path to where our ccache file sits. And now that we have our ticket set in our environment variable, we can run any tool that supports Kerberos authentication, including any of the Impacket tools, Bloodhound, uh, the majority of Windows tools on Linux should support Kerberos authentication. And most of them, it's just as easy as setting the dash K flag. So let's go ahead and give that a try with the ryan.nailer account. And we see we authenticate to the SMB server. We can list the shares, set our share to IT, see what's in it. When previously, when we tried to authenticate with NTLM, we would get the unsupported authentication type.